we're going to draw the structure of HNO3 which is also known as nitric acid. Now the electronic configuration of oxygen is 1s2, 2s2, 2p4 which has 6 valence electrons, 2 plus 4, 6 valence electrons. Nitrogen has 5 valence electrons, 2 plus 3, whereas hydrogen just has a single valence electron. Okay, now uh, let's draw our molecule. The central atom, which is nitrogen, just a second, yeah. The central atom is nitrogen having five valence electrons. Okay, now we have one, two, three, four, and five. Okay, now we have one atom of hydrogen in HNO3, so that many OH bonds are going to be present in the molecule, which means one OH bond. Okay, now we are going to make an OH bond here having a single bond because the other bond of oxygen is made with hydrogen and now we are left with two atoms of oxygen okay and oxygen has two lone pairs okay similarly this oxygen is also going to make a bond having two lone pairs isn't it so so you guys must be thinking like that this is the structure of nitric acid whereas it is not and this is where it gets complicated let me show you why isn't this the structure of nitric acid firstly remember this that nitrogen cannot make five bonds it can make a maximum of four bonds in which the fourth bond is going to be a coordinate bond okay so it generally makes three bonds but in certain cases it can make four bonds in which the fourth bond is going to be a coordinate bond okay now what am i talking about let me show you Okay, I'm going to rub the electronic configuration of hydrogen because it's pretty simple. Now, I'm going to draw the uh, uh, subshells and their orbitals for nitrogen. Okay, I'm going to skip the 1s2 part because it uh, doesn't have a role in bond making. Only the valence orbitals, the, or the electrons in valence orbitals count in the bond making. Okay, now we have got three electrons in 2p subshell and two electrons in 2s subshell notice we have five valence electrons which is what i wrote okay which is what i wrote i wrote i drew something like this okay i made a single oh bond then i proceeded to make a oxygen bond having two lone pairs of itself now notice this electron represents this one okay and the oxygen's electron has made a bond with nitrogen's bond uh, electron and a bond is formed so this is complete okay this orbital is complete now moving on to this one this electron represents this one okay and oxygen similarly has also donated two electrons so this electron has made a bond with one of the oxygen's uh, electron so this is also done now this electron represents this electron notice my left finger left index finger and this electron has made a bond with this electron now this 2p subshell is complete we have got two electrons two electrons here we have got two electrons 
left with us and a oxygen atom left with left with us we have used a single hydrogen atom we have used two oxygen atoms one and two but we have got another uh, oxygen atom left with us now what happens is see oxygen's valence electrons oxygen has six valence electrons okay one two three four five six see two plus four six now it needs two two more uh, two extra electrons to complete its octet okay to have a configuration of 2p6 six okay 2p6 but 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 since nitrogen's th uh, this orbital of nitrogen has is filled okay it is filled now nitrogen doesn't have a 2d subshell okay if it would uh, been having a 2d subshell it would have five vacant orbitals and a uh, this electron would have jumped here okay this electron would have jumped here and now if this would work uh, hypothetically i'm saying if this would have been the case hydrogen now would have been able to make two more bonds one two three four and five okay but since it doesn't have a, a vacant 2d uh, subshell it has a completely filled 2s subshell okay completely filled 2s subshell and in this case what is going to happen is that nitrogen's two bonds are going to be simply donated to oxygen okay so these two electrons are simply donated to oxygen and now oxygen has completed its octet 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 nitrogen has also uh, completed its octet 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 okay and this oxygen has also completed its octet you guys are knowing this okay this is a this is the electron of hydrogen one two three four this is a bond one two three four five six seven eight similarly this oxygen has also completed its octet and this hydrogen has completed its duplet one and two okay so this is the structure of nitric acid